Hi everybody, Teacher Alex here. We're back in my kitchen. And today I thought it would be fun to see if we could do a science experiment that also involves music. So this science experiment involves seeing what sound a jar might make when it's filled with water and how high or low that sound might be based on how much water you put into it or how little water you put into it. So what you need to try this out at home are some jars or glasses or cups that are glass. I'm using all the same ones. Luckily I had all of them the same in this mason jar. It should work with different types of glasses. You can try it out, see what you have. Um, some food coloring or watercolor. If you wanna make your water different colors, I'm gonna to try to make it a rainbow and then you need some water. So I've never done this before, so we're gonna to see together if it works. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so to get started, you have to pour the water into the different glasses um, at different heights. So something I forgot that you need, or if you wanna use it, is a measuring cup. I'm gonna use a fourth measuring cup, and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna start by putting half of a fourth of a cup, which is at one eighth. And I'm gonna go up by eighths for up the whole amount of jars. So here we go. I'm gonna fill this halfway, which is an eighth. I'm gonna put an eighth in the first jar. And then I'm gonna put a full fourth in the second jar. So that's a full fourth of a cup. Then I'm gonna put a fourth of a cup plus an eighth of a cup. So another eight, half. Then I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup plus a fourth of a cup. Next, a fourth of a cup. I'm gonna need more water. <laughs> Let me fill up my water. There we go. So I did a fourth of a cup plus a fourth of a cup plus an eighth of a cup. And then the last one is three fourths of a cup. One, two, Oop, I need a little bit more water. <laughs> and three. So now all my water is in and you can see that they're at different levels. This one has the least, this one has a bit more. Then more, then more, then more, then the most. So it's kind of like steps going down. So now I'm gonna put the food coloring in and I'm gonna speed that up because that might take me a little time and you can do it on your end. Here we go. So my food coloring is gel food coloring. So I have to put a little bit in and let it sit for a little while and swirl it around and then it should be all ready. All right, so now we have our musical instrument ready to go and test it out and see how it sounds. I'm gonna test it out with three different types of materials to see if they sound different. One is metal, a metal straw. Another is plastic, a plastic chopstick. And another is a wooden paintbrush. So I'm gonna try the metal straw first and see what it sounds like. Did they sound different? Let me do that again. They do sound a bit different. Let me try going the other way. Hmm, which 
Which one sounds the highest? I think this one's the highest with the least amount of water, and this is the lowest. And these are in the middle. <laughs> Let's try it with the plastic chopstick. You see that? Or hear that, rather? Oh, you can really hear the different sounds going up or down, or down and up when you do it that way. And the plastic, let's see. It doesn't sound all that different than the metal, I don't think. Now let's try the paintbrush. Ooh, there's definitely sound difference. <laughs> Look at that. It does have different sounds. That's pretty cool. Well, I hope that you try this out at home and you experiment with it a bit and see if you can get, maybe if you have different jars and you can do less or more and how that might affect the different sounds. Or maybe you have a different material that you can tap on each glass. I'm eager to see what happens. Have fun. Bye.